Today's recipe is Italian zucchini casserole. Look how delicious this looks. If you're interested in this recipe, you can see it at the end of the video. So Rory, what are we making today? Buongiorno, caramel. So today we're making, a friend brought us all these fresh zucchinis <laughs> and we got so excited, look at these. And so we decided to make Italian zucchini casserole. Mm. And it's a basic dish that works with so many other entrees. So you're watching Nono Giorgio and Rory cooking Italian for weight loss. Yeah. So we're basically going to take onions and garlic and saute them until they're soft and translucent. Then we're going to put in the zucchini to soften it and the tomato sauce. And then we're going to season it with salt, pepper, nutmeg, and some, some garlic, uh, fresh garlic ground. And then when it's done, we're going to put it in a pan to bake it. And we're going to add breadcrumbs, mozzarella cheese. We're using locatelli, you can use Parmesan, and uh, oregano, and basil. Yep. And then put it in the oven, and the oven's at? Uh, 350 for 20 minutes. 350 for 20 minutes. Covered. And then you take the cover off, put it in the oven, uncovered for 10. It's pretty easy. So this is a dish that everybody will like. Your kids will love it. Yes. It's cheesy. It's wonderful. They won't even know there's vegetables in it. <laughs> God forbid. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to put, uh, I chopped uh, onions, some one medium onion. Uh, chopped them finely. And I chopped garlic. Sometimes I mince it, depending on what you like. Put a little bit of olive oil in there and I like to add salt whenever I do garlic. I don't use garlic salt. Uh, use, use fresh garlic or minced garlic and then add your own salt. Okay so we're gonna saute that. Just let it go for a bit. Okay how's it going? See they're nice and soft. It's starting to get translucent. Now we can put in our zucchini. And the zucchini is going to bake, so we don't want uh, to cook this much. We just want to start to soften it, but it'll still be pretty raw. And then we put it in the casserole, and it'll it'll finish baking that way. So you think maybe about sautéing about five minutes? Yeah, it, it depends on. The temperature, if you use a cover, maybe a little less. Okay. Please like our video by checking the little thumbs up. That way you let us know you enjoyed it. Please subscribe by hitting the subscribe button, then the bell, and all. This will ensure that you get all of our new videos. Volume 2 of our cookbook with 54 new recipes is available from Amazon as a color paperback or an ebook. Okay, so I can feel that these have softened slightly. They're certainly not cooked yet. And you can see a little bit of moisture in the bottom, the water coming out of the zucchini. And now we're gonna put our tomato sauce. Now this is our homemade tomato sauce. The recipe's in the first cookbook. It's also on YouTube. And uh, if you don't want to make your own, um, you can buy tomato sauce. Uh, I would pref prefer you to, to take um, Cento Marzano tomatoes. And if you just um, take them out, they're whole, but they've been skinned. Um, you can squeeze them and make a tomato sauce quickly. You can put a little garlic if you want. You can put some salt and pepper, some basil. Um, you can also, if you want to make a real tomato sauce like we do, you can cook it for like an hour to two hours and the sugars come out of the tomatoes and make it nice and sweet. They're so wonderful. So now I've got this wonderful product. It's a garlic 
It's a rough garlic pieces and it's a grinder like a pepper mill. And I'm putting more garlic. We had used the fresh and just a little bit more salt. You cannot have too much garlic. Somebody recently said um, a recipe that calls for one clove of garlic is useless, right? What was it, George? Yeah. What does one clove of garlic do? <laughs> And even if your recipe is for just one clove of garlic, yeah. you should use two. Absolutely. That's our At good least. friend, Bob Lipinski. At least two, right? Okay, so we put our seasonings. Salt, pepper, garlic, and uh, nutmeg. And this is... We're just going to let that simmer for a few minutes. So nutmeg is considered sort of a sweet spice, but it does wonderful things with some vegetables. You can't really taste the nutmeg, but it makes it have that slightly sweet, exotic flavor, right? So this looks great. And we're gonna just dump this into an oven, a glass oven ready dish. And now we're gonna put um, the breadcrumbs on. This is actually panko, which we, we prefer over breadcrumbs, although, although we use both. Yeah, these are Italian flavored. Just distribute it as even as possible. This will give it a nice crispiness. And then I like to take the mozzarella this will melt the um, cheese nicely. You can do it either way. And we're going to do some oregano. And all these flavors will go down in. And we're going to put some basil. And then we've got our Logatelli or Parmesan, whatever you want. Okay, and now we're going to cover it. And we're going to bake it 350. 350, uh -huh, for, for 20, 20 minutes. minutes. And then we'll be back for our favorite part of the show. Tasting. Yay! The oven's set at 350. And we're going to put the casserole in. Set a timer for 20 minutes. Then we'll take the tin foil off and go another 10. You can also put it under the broiler to brown the cheese and uh, the topping. Okay, so we've done it for the baking for 20 minutes. And now we're gonna take the tin foil off. Look at that, cheese melted. I'm gonna do eight minutes and then I'm gonna put it under the broiler for a couple. Here's our casserole, hot out of the oven. All right, we're at our favorite part of the show. So we had cooked this for 20 minutes with tin foil on. Yeah. We did about eight minutes, seven, eight minutes with the tin foil off. And then I stuck it under the broiler for two minutes and it browned up the top a little bit. So let's taste this. It looks wonderful. Could be still a little hot. 
Yeah. <laughs> you know, cheese and tomatoes retain the heat for a long time. Mm. Am I going to burn my tongue? Mm. A little bit. No. A little bit what? Not too hot. No. It's really good. Delicious. This is something you can make ahead of time. Yep. You can bake it and freeze it. Uh, you can make it and freeze it and then bake it, whatever. Yeah. It's very versatile. It's great to have around when people stop over because everybody loves it. Yeah. If you like this video, hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button and then the all so you get all the updates uh, from our uh, vlog. And our volume two of our cookbook is out. It's got like 54 recipes, a yeah. lot of really good ones. <laughs> And uh, for now, ciao and arrivederci. Enjoy cooking and enjoy eating. Have a good holiday. Bye. Bye. Here's the recipe. You can pause the video to copy down the recipe or it's in the notes below the video on YouTube. We hope you have enjoyed our channel. If you have, please hit the subscribe button below and the bell next to it so you get notified of new videos when they come out.